babies, we made it. If you would have asked me seven years ago where I'd be today, I could have never predicted how amazing life could be. To my husband, leading up to this day, everyone has asked me if I'm nervous or scared. My answer has consistently been no, as every part of my heart knows that marrying you is the best decision I have ever made in my life. There are things that I feel on a regular basis that I want you to know. I'm always so in love with you. I always think you are the most beautiful woman in the room. There's no way I would be the man I am today without seeking guidance from you and confiding in you. When I met you seven years ago, there was a void in my heart. I lacked confidence, self-esteem, and didn't know how to let myself get vulnerable anymore. As we spent more time together, my heart healed. I was scared, but you helped me feel comfortable and I learned to trust again. You carried me through the toughest days of my life when my father passed. He couldn't be happier knowing the woman that I get to be what treats me like royalty and has my back every second of every day. The way you showed up reminded me for 10 lifetimes why I'll do anything and everything for you. I truly believe we can achieve anything together. I look forward to growing old with you and keeping the same passion we have today. Here's to forever and always, my love. Today is a day that we cement our legacy together. I know we're going to build a life beyond our wildest dreams because we seem to already be playing with the house's money. I'll miss calling you the best fiance ever, but I gain comfort knowing I'm about to have the best wife ever. I love you so much. Allie and Kevin met in January 2016 at their Oxford houses, the sober communities they lived in after completing inpatient rehab. One of the main rules of most treatment facilities is not to fraternize with other clients. <laughs> Luckily, they went to different facilities, and they didn't have to break any rules when they started dating. Thank you everybody for coming to our post-apocalyptic wedding. <laughs> Seven years ago today, I stumbled into a chapter meeting, anticipating the boredom that was going to be my existence for the next two hours. I took a seat on the floor with a diminished spirit, and then I looked up and saw you, Alexander Wilde. That was the first time you lifted me to a position of grace without even having to say anything. Kevin, you truly are my best friend and love of my life. Prior to us meeting, we had both overcome challenges and made mistakes, but without them our paths may not have crossed. I believe all of my past mistakes, regrets, and heartaches pushed me to become the best version of myself, which led me to you. As a couple, they have faced many hard challenges, including getting sober, as well as suffering the loss of some very special people. Yet they stayed committed, and they have continued working, loving, coping, day to day. They are thankful to the many of you who have been there for them. Seven years ago, we met Alexander Wilde, my husband and I, on my birthday. What a gift that turned out to be. I have never been so blessed in my life to have a sister like this. Ali is the kindest, most courageous, strongest, bravest woman I've ever met in my life. Kevin, I love you. You're an amazing brother. Dad would be so happy to see this. It would be so easy to talk about how beautiful you are or how motivated you are or 
how you have unmatched character and wisdom, but all of those things are just the cherry on top. I'd rather remind you that the real reason we are here is because we both didn't know that we could love someone as much as we love each other. We've grown up together, we've been through hard times together, and we've found success together. I'm inspired by your tenacity and altruism, two things that have encouraged me to be a better woman every day. My love, my forever Froyo date, favorite travel companion, and lifelong FIFA partner. I vow to do the rest of my life with you and promise to love you today, tomorrow, and every day after that. <laughs> I don't take this lightly. Having somebody who I think is worthy of my daughter is a difficult task. You are. I love you, man. I will never forget the statement, the kids are better together. Better together and you complete each other. Young and so alive. So I'm going to ask you something right now. Allie, please place your left hand on the table. And Kevin, place your right hand on top. This is the last time you'll have the upper hand in the relationship. <laughs> oh, here we go again, yeah. Winston Churchill was asked about the difference between a young love and a mature love. He said, immature love says, I love you because I need you. Mature love says, I need you because I love you. Winston Churchill also said, marriage is more about making a life than making a living. When you focus on what you can give rather than what you can get, you stand a better chance of making that life wonderful and probably most importantly, when Winston Churchill was asked about the meaning of life, he said, now you quote, hail to the victor's valiant, hail to the conquering heroes, hail, hail to Michigan, the champions of the West. <laughs> Back at you, buddy. Back at you. One, two, three. Michigan sucks. Uh, Michigan sucks. You're about to be a son, you can't say yeah. that. Oh, here we go again. To a beautiful girl, a beautiful boy. May you have a beautiful life together.